Before we enter this room this morning, I'm sure you have seen the logo at the end from Jonathan Center and our project. And uh, it is my great honor to be here as the first speaker here to introduce the ideas and concept of this project. And we are not just simply building a building, a tall building. It is a building that is going to influence China, Asia, and even the world. So it's my great honor and pleasure to be here to, be here to talk about the ideas and how this whole project, the concept, came into being. And we are very proud of the project. Okay. And Interbank is one of the biggest brand consulting companies uh, in the world. And uh, we have worked with many brands, and in terms of um, brand consulting, brand positioning, and visual design. And today I'm going to talk about the strategy and the meaning that we have mm -hmm. put into this project. And this one question I'm going to throw to the floor. When we look at all the tall buildings, all the skyscrapers in the world, apart from different shapes, do you notice any different meanings that this tall building has bring to people? And because of the time limit, I won't ask you a question, I will tell you the answers. And behind the buildings, there is many efforts from different people in terms of the brand, the strategies, and it's not the shape that is remembered by people, it's the social value that the building brings to society that's remembered by the society. This is actually the difference between product and brand. Just in this area, apart from the building we are at now, there's a Shanghai Center next to us, and another really tall building in this area. Apart from different shapes, what is the real, what is the really, what is the real different meaning from the three tall buildings in this area? It's very interesting for us to talk about this topic here today because we are in this area, Lu Jiazhu in Shanghai, which has a very high concentration of tall buildings. And in China, these super tall buildings are facing challenges at the moment in terms of brand positioning. According to estimation, within the next decade, by 2022, the, the number of tall buildings in China are going to reach 1,318. It's 2.5 times more than that of America. And all these developers are facing a bigger and bigger challenges in terms of the choice of cities and areas within the city where to put these tall buildings. So the differentiation between brands is becoming more and more crucial. Before we started doing the project of uh, uh, Zhongnan Center, we did a market audit or market research. We have realized many of these tall buildings, they, when they talk about these tall buildings, they talk about how tall they are. It highlights the height of the building. And so among the 100 tall buildings we have audited, we noticed that 88 to 89 buildings, they put the words, the Chinese word tall, in their brand tagging. But actually there are two challenges that are facing. The first one, they are, they are, there's always going to be taller buildings than you. So we asked ourselves the question, how can we be remembered by? What can we be remembered by in the future, our project? You know, we looked at more than 30 tall buildings globally in terms of their brand meaning. But today, because of the time, I'm going to talk about five of them. And the first example is uh, Hadfa Tower in Dubai. And their slogan is the tallest point in the world and extremely premium and luxury. So it highlights it's being tall, the tallest point in the world, but they know and they realize that that won't be forever. So they extend the meaning of the brand and match the brand of the region Dubai, which is luxury and premium. And apart from looking at the slogan and the logo of the brand, we also dig into four aspects, including the product and service, staff and behavior, environment and channels, and external communication. From these four aspects, we realize this brand, they really focus on being premium and luxurious. The products and the service they provide in there is very luxurious, and they're all the top-notch brands in the world. And also the design for the costume of the staff inside the building, and the environment of the channels, all surrounded by the idea of being luxurious and premium. And the second example is the 101 Tower in Taipei. And this is not just a simple commercial building because this building has been seen as the project that has brought Taipei to the world. And with the construction of this building, the confidence of the city in Taipei has been, has been reboosted. And the tower came into a time of very bad economy of Taiwan. So this building serves as a showcase of an example of Taipei to the world. So in terms of its uh, product and service, this building is one of the best examples in the world that, is, that showcases the tourism of tall buildings in the world. 
and also in the service and staff inside is very friendly, and also their communication to the external world is also very friendly. And this building, Shanghai World Financial Center, is just next to us. And the concept of the building is to be the magnet of world finance. Shanghai has already been the financial center in China, in Asia, and in the near future, it's going to be the financial center of the world. So this is also the brand positioning of this uh, financial center. So we cannot ignore the influence and the content of, of these tall buildings to the region. But from our research, we realize the actual fact of this building is not quite there yet with what it claims to be as its concept. So what we see is for these tall buildings, it, in terms of its product, its staff, its service, environment, and communication really need to match up with their concept. It's not just an empty slogan that you need to put out to the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also briefly go through the ICC Tower in Hong Kong. This showcases the vibrance of the city in Hong Kong. And the shard in London has redefined the skyline of the city and inspired new growth of the city. Mm -hmm. And in terms of defining the meaning of the buildings, there are two, um, two ideas. One's one is the focus on customer service, customer experience, and that is the focus on the future social values. And internally, we have looked at the uh, brand's value and the uh, vision from Zhongnan Group to the Zhongnan Center to this project. And externally, we have looked at all the customers, and, and domestic customers and international customers, and their needs for this center. And also, we have looked at the market overall, so like what opportunities, opportunities that we have in the market. And at the end, we have our brand positioning. And the features that we look at the Zhongnan Center is that it has beautiful scenery, beautiful environment, it has golden location, and in all the concept design, it has the beauty of contrast. It has royal and premium service, a luxury service, and technology and environmental trends. But behind this, there's a core value that we have realized. And after communicating with the Zhongnan Group, we, we realized this is not just a project of a tall building, but behind it, and it's also the concept of the Zhongnan Group is to help a city to find its vibrance. You know, in terms of customers' needs, we have done research in Suzhou, the city, in eastern China, including six provinces and one uh, city, and also in the northeastern area, and Shenzhen area, and even overseas, to find out what are the potential needs of these customers, what will bring them to them to here, and what are the motivations for them to come here. So we realized it is all these people they are looking for for a new vision, for a new height of their lives. And as for the city of Suzhou, it's also very progressive. The government of Suzhou back then does not just want Suzhou to be known by the world for its traditional side, the cultural side, but also to build this city as a new city, as a new city with new vibrance. And in China, there's not yet a tall building that can highlight and stand for the spirit of China. So we hope this building cannot just be the tallest building in China, but also can, because the shape of the building looks like, like a traditional Chinese calligraphy brush. So this will stand for the economic, cultural, and the social value of China as well. So, um, so based on that video we just watched, so this is this is our slogan of this project. The greatness comes from the crucial stroke, and this cross this greatness is not just the greatness of the Zhongnan Center, but also of the Suzhou city of China. And the crucial stroke, as we can see, all the details from the golf player, from the uh, uh, ballet dancer. These are all the crucial moments for these uh, great masters in their own industry. And we have different ways to showcase, to merchandise, to visually merchandise this show. Like we can see the light boxes and all the posters. These are the future ways of our visual merchandise. And 
in terms of uh, because of time, so I will go into the brand details. So we will not talk about the height of the, bu the building, but we will talk about the attitude of overseeing the world from a high point. This also stands for the Chinese spirit. And this is the core value of the brand, and through the four aspects I have just mentioned, we will also have palettes to support this brand spirit.